Welcome to Motorland, a podcast driven by AAA. Hello, 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 take me anyway. We're bringing you behind the scenes stories from some of America's great road trip destinations. I'm Jared Dienda, the voice of motorsports and auto events all around the world, and your wheelman here in Motorland. And I'm Michelle Donati from AAA. Well, getting your vehicle road ready just takes a stop into one of our many local AAA auto repair centers. All right, Michelle, in this episode, we're taking a soak feet first, first time in what is truly a one of a kind hot springs, Mystic Hot Springs in Utah. I have always wanted to visit hot springs. The nature, the view, the soak. I could see you relaxing right now. You're chilling. You are vibing right now. And guess what? Mike Ginsburg has really developed that into an art form. He's created a funky vibe at Mystic Hot Springs with overnight stays, music, the scenery. It's all there. Jared, I think we are ready to wade into this episode. Oh, man. Well done. <laughs> Slow clap. Well done. <laughs> Bravo. Well, I got my floaties on. Let's buckle up and let's ride. Hello, 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 take me anyway. Mike Ginsburg, thank you so much for joining us in Motorland, man. Well, thanks for having me. Should we call you... Mystic Mike. It's a great name. And let's be honest, Magic Mike is taken. I'm sorry. Yeah. Whenever anybody calls me that, I, I tend to get out of my chair and start gyrating my hips. <laughs> Nothing more sexual. Just more uh, <laughs> more of a good vibe. More of a, a hippy-dippy granola vibe, Mystic Mike. <laughs> that Mystic Mike definitely uh, suits me a little bit better than Magic Mike. That's for sure. So Mystic Mike, you've created your own little slice of heaven in the valleys of Utah. Where is Mystic Hot Springs, and how did you originally find it? Well, it's kind of the, the center of everything and the middle of nowhere. Um, you sound like Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what? Okay, so it's kind of like, you know, halfway between Salt Lake and St. George okay. in the town of Monroe. How did you acquire this place? How did you plunge and find this property? You know, I was living in Denver and went to the last Grateful Dead concerts in Las Vegas in 95. Cool. And on my way back, got a flat tire by St. George and stumbled into Mystic Hot Springs. And in the first few moments, it, it was like, wow, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's uh, 130 acres, 168 degree water coming out, about 200 gallons a minute. Uh, there's fish ponds and there's soaking pools. And I just feel so good to be in here. And I just love it. It sounds like you do everything really organically and sustainably. So how did you arrive at that? And can you tell us more about your philosophy behind what's inspired your work at the Hot Springs? Well, there are basically three philosophies that I've distilled my life down to. The first one is mindfulness, being present. The second is permaculture, a way of looking at nature as a guide. And then the third philosophy is wabi-sabi. Uh, wabi-sabi is a Japanese worldview about this perfect, imperfect kind of world where things that are imperfect are sometimes more beautiful than that perfect thing. And, and that things that, that are older, that show their stories of time through different cracks and crevices, become much more interesting and compelling than something shiny and new. Can you give us some examples of maybe some unique things that you recycle that visitors may see when they visit the hot springs? I've got uh, collected some these old cabins from the pioneer days. I have about 30 of those. I also have uh, a bunch of old school buses. I think I'm up to 17 school buses, six of them that we have ready for overnight lodging that you can rent. Does this ain't the Hampton Inn, man? You're you're going you're going <laughs> you know, you're going to go for it. <laughs> You being a former deadhead, how did you incorporate music into the experience of the Mystic Hot Springs? Well, you know, I was lucky enough to work with the Grateful Dead. I was a graphic artist, and I also did some video work for the band. Wow. I got to uh, do some animation that went on the big screens at the uh, summer tours. You're the man behind the curtain. Exactly. <laughs> the outdoor stage, it looks awesome. It came from a uh, demolition project in Park City. Wow. And it's beautiful. And it's like this big timber frame construction. And we've been using it for, for years now. And it's just awesome. So the hot springs is, is just, it has me spinning my wheels over here. Um, because some of the greatest shows I've seen have been in unexpected places, right? Like not where you'd see them in like a concert venue. All right, Mystic Mike, I got to ask you, how do you track bands to get them to come out to Mystic Hot Springs? It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> 
There we go. Music is a huge part of my life. I have a YouTube channel. There's 400 videos on there, bands that have played here. I set up a little three camera studio and I would do some live directing. And oh, sweet. I've had about 1,200 concerts here at Mystic Hot Springs. I'm on there. I'm on your website right now, Mystic Mike. And Michelle, are you ready to go? Michelle, are, are, are you are you are you booking your destination, your trip right now? <laughs> um, I've never been to a hot spring. I love hot water. So, is it similar to a hot tub, or is it a different kind of experience? Well, it's actually much different. Uh, there are some similarities, obviously, but imagine that this water hasn't probably seen the surface of the Earth for about twenty thousand years pretty magical on its own that you're the first person that's going to experience something that rare. And then to sit outside in inclement weather or, or whatever it might be and be protected because you're immersed in this this 102 degree water, let's say, that just you can stay in for a long time. There's no smell to, to the hot springs here. A lot of hot springs have sulfur, but this is a calcium carbonate based water. And so it doesn't smell it kind of does something to your nervous system just by what it is. There's also a lot of minerals in the water. And as the water cools and contacts the air, the minerals come out and form layers of rock. And they're all just deposited a molecule at a time. So they make all these intricate patterns. And so while you're sitting there looking at the beautiful sunset or the stars or whatever that might be, you look at the side of the tub and it's like you can just fall into the smallest details there the little um, ways the minerals have deposited. It's really cool. So you've talked to us about, you know, being very mindful of your um, footprint. And so I'm curious what your plans are in regards to that for the future. Well, I'm really excited about this new development that's happening now at Mystic. I call it geothermania. Mm -hmm. It's all using the sun and the heat from the, from the water. And so I've built a couple of buildings that are passive solar active solar and active geothermal. There's 168 degree water coming out at 200 gallons a minute. Right. So that's a lot of BTUs, you know. So basically, I'll be using an old pioneer cabin that I've collected from the 1800s, and that'll be the bedroom. And then there'll be a room addition next to it. And there'll be its own little hot tub outside. The floor will be radiant floor heat. So the hot springs will heat up the floor in the house that way. Uh, you'll have a, a, your own bathroom and kitchen. And it's really celebrating the old with the new. So like I'm, I'm looking at photos. What's that cost? What's the range from a small bus to a large bus to a cabin? It's mostly all the same. We have camping that starts at 25 bucks a night per person plus tax. Lodging is a uh, hundred bucks for two. And then the extra people are an extra 25. That sounds like a fairly reasonable trip. Just get out to Mystic Hot Springs. You've owned this place for over 25 years. Are there any mystical moments that come to mind? Or maybe one of your favorite concerts that you've experienced? I, I did this big thing and there was like, you know, the Mother Hips and, and ALO and uh, just, I had like 20 different bands. And Oat Earth was on stage, a popular jam band. They've been around for about 20 years. Uh playing one of my favorite songs black bear and just as i was looking up and i was singing there was a big shooting star that went right behind him and it was just like you know those perfect moments that uh it's just hard to explain unless you were there i cannot wait to visit thank you so much mystic mike well thanks for having me i think we're going to record our next episode of motorland <laughs> At the Mystic Hot Springs. What do you think? Inside of a bus. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> Michelle, big thanks to you for coming along. And a big special thanks to our sponsor, AAA. And don't forget, AAA members receive complimentary travel planning services, either in the branch or by phone from AAA travel experts. I've already texted my family. I'm diving in the tub. I'm ready to vibe and, and just, to be honest, veg out. If you want to know more about Mystic Hot Springs and all the destinations from this season, you can connect with us on Instagram at Motorland Podcast. Hello, LA, hello, take me anywhere. Motorland is executive produced by AAA Mountain West Group in cooperation with Sound That Brands. Hello, Take Me Anywhere, written by Justin Sullivan, performed by Night Shop by arrangement with Terror Bird Media. 
thank you so much for listening. If you like it here in Motorland, be sure to subscribe or follow to receive the next episode. I'm Jared DeAnda. Thanks for coming along on the ride with us today. We'll see you again soon in Motorland.